Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We are doing home hacks. I'm showing you hacks from Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram that I use around my home and love. Have you ever wondered how people put together those really pretty floral arrangements using large bowls? Well, I'm gonna show you how with this home hack. So you wanna get a large bowl. You may already have one at your home. I grabbed one at the thrift store for $3. It was glass, I wanted it to be white. So all I did was take it outside and spray paint it. Now here's the hack and how you do it. So what you're going to do is use any sort of scotch tape and you're gonna start by creating a grid on your bowl. So you're gonna have all the tape running one way and then put tape going the other way. This is going to create a barrier. So whenever you start putting in your florals, they're going to stand up a lot more nicely and be fuller in the center. The florals that I'm gonna be using, I picked up at Hobby Lobby, but you could use any florals. You could use real florals if you wanted to. In the end, I think this hack makes an awesome floral arrangement. So this next hack I recently learned about and love the way it looks. So you know when you use like a gallon of paint and you have about half of the paint left and let's say you store it for a year and then you open it up and it just doesn't look good, it's not as fresh. So here is a hack to make your paint last longer. So what you wanna do is just open up your paint can or whenever you're done painting, so just use some basic saran or cling wrap that you can purchase pretty much at any grocery store. And you're going to pull off a piece and then you're just going to lay it flat around your paint. Now you don't need to push it in there. You're trying to create a barrier between the paint and the air. So you just wanna lay it in there nicely and then put your paint can lid back on. And the next time you go to use it, it's gonna be so much fresher. I love this hack. So for this next hack, I'm gonna show you how to fold your towels really fancy. Now, I wouldn't do this for all my towels, but if you had like towels displayed out in your bathroom, this is a great option for your towels. So start by laying your towel out completely flat. Next, you're gonna fold one side over. Then you're gonna take your towel and fold it in half. Then flip it over to the other side. Now you're going to start rolling at one end until you roll the entire towel up. Now with the little end that's sticking out, you're just going to take that and tuck it in to the towel. And look at how fancy these towels are. I mean, really, it takes you know less than 30 seconds to do this, and these would be great if you needed some rolled up towels in your bathroom. So this next hack has something to do with it was really driving me nuts in my house. So you guys know this chair that I have in the corner of my living room. Well, anytime anyone sits on this chair, it rolls back and it slams into the wall. Not when I sit on it, but when other people sit on it, it tends to do that. It's just totally ruined this wall. I'm gonna have to repaint it. So I wanted a solution to make the chair not roll back. I went on Amazon and I found these scotch gripping pads that you could put on the bottom of chairs that are supposed to stop the chair from moving. And I thought, I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. So the gripping pads came in a pack of eight and they were a little bit larger than my chair leg. So I went ahead and cut them out so that they wouldn't be sticking out too much. Next, I added them to the bottom of my chair.
And you guys, these totally work. My chair is no longer sliding and it's not hitting the wall. So I am ecstatic about these gripping pads. So one of the home trends that I've been noticing is color block vases. These are so easy to recreate and they look awesome in your home. So pick up any vase from your thrift store. And with my vase, I decided I was going to put painter's tape about a third of the way up. Next, I wanted to spray paint this and I didn't want any of the top half or the inside of my vase to get spray painted. So I took some craft paper and I just wrapped it around the area I didn't want to spray paint and used another layer of painter's tape to hold it in place. Next, I spray painted the vase with two thin coats of an ultra matte spray paint. I'm gonna link all of these things that I use down in the description box. They're always down there for you guys to see the things I use in the videos. After everything has a chance to dry, I'll take off the paper as well as the painter's tape. Next, I'm gonna put in any florals that I want. These are ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think I like the color block vase trend. I think it's cute. Now, when I saw this next home hack, I knew that I had to do it. You guys know that I love going to the thrift store and picking up books to DIY. I came across this home hack of making a real monotone collection of books to display. And I thought, this is so much fun, I have to do it. So I grabbed eight books at the thrift store. My thrift store sells books for a dollar each that are hardback. And I just try to find a variety of sizes just to give me a little bit of visual interest, but not too much contrast. I want them all to be around the same size, but just a little bit different. Next, I decided that I was going to paint them. I have this one gray paint color from Sherwin-Williams that I have as a sample and I really like the color. So I'm going to paint two of the books that color. Next, to make it in that same color tone family, what I did was I took that paint and I mixed it with some white chalk paint by Waverly. That's going to give me just a slight variation of the color in a lighter gray. I'm gonna paint two more books with that lighter gray color. Next, I went back to my same gray paint and added in some black ink by Waverly to give me more of a dark gray color. And then two more of my books I'm gonna paint in that dark gray color. My final books, I'm just going to paint white. And really, I only did one coat of paint on all these books, but when you put them together as a collection, they look so nice sitting out and you would have no idea that these books only cost a dollar. So this next home hack is really gonna help you step up your pillow game. So whenever you buy a pillow cover, you usually buy a specific size. So most pillow covers come in like an 18 by 18. So what you wanna do is buy your pillow insert maybe one to two inches larger. So I like to do this at Ikea. I buy most of my pillow inserts at Ikea. So at Ikea, I'm gonna buy a 20 by 20 pillow insert, and then my cover is usually 18 by 18. So when I put that pillow insert into my cover, it's going to make it look a lot more fluffy and full. Oh. 
Just keep that in mind whenever you purchase your pillow inserts, buy them a little bit larger than your pillow covers. So this next home hack is for your bathroom. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out like what you should use in your bathroom to decorate with because you don't want to put normal home decor items in there as frequently. So what I like to do is decorate my bathroom with items that I'm actually using in my bathroom. One of my favorite things to decorate are inexpensive soaps. So you want to pick up a clear container or some container from around your house. This one, again, I grabbed at the thrift store. And then I also picked up really inexpensive soap from Walmart. And I'm going to take them out of the package and just put them into my clear container. I'll put the lid back on and this makes a great decoration for the shelf in my bathroom. So if you're not already using mirrors in your home decorations, you definitely want to use them. Mirrors are great in rooms because they really help to reflect the light around the room and they can make a small room look even larger. I love putting mirrors in living rooms or office spaces or pretty much anywhere around your home. All right, you guys, you're going to have to let me know which of these home hacks was your favorite. I don't think I can pick. Let me know your favorite down in the comments. I really want to know. And if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. I post two DIYs each week and you do not want to miss that notification. If you missed our last one, I'll link it here for you and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.